controversy now over a college professor accused of sending racist and sexist tweets but allowed to keep his job because Indiana University says he's protected by the First Amendment. It's November 23rd. I'm in Bloomington, Indiana. And so far, we're going to go into another white supremacist in this community. This is a really interesting story. An Indiana college has come under fire for refusing to oust a tenured professor for sharing racist, homophobic, and sexist posts on social media. So from his response, the first thing he says is, this page will be for links concerning the 2019 kerfuffle. Indiana University professor is facing backlash accused of sharing racist, sexist, and homophobic posts on social media. The tweet that got him in trouble was a quote from the link to an article and the quote is geniuses are overwhelmingly male because they combine outlier high IQ with moderately low agreeableness and moderately low conscientiousness. But I wasn't saying I agreed with that article. The tweet went viral and the university was inundated with demands that he be removed. I've heard somebody one time say, it's okay to be wrong, it's okay to be loud, but what is not okay is to be loud and wrong. The article starts with, during World War I, seven of the medical schools attached to the University of London decided to start admitting female students, as did Oxford and Edinburgh University. But by 1928, five of these London colleges had decided to stop admitting women, with the other two heavily restricting female numbers. It goes on to say, male academics and students were concerned that the presence of female students, let alone staff, would alter the character of the teaching and lead to feminine government of universities. Also quoted in the article, um, he says, a recent video by British independent scientist has gone even further, claiming that female dominance of universities is destroying the genius type that is critical to the generation of original ideas. He also says in the article, in order to calmly debate all ideas, you need to put emotion aside but females are simply less able to do that than males because they are higher in neuroticism, feeling negative feelings strongly, thus more easily becoming overwhelmed by negative feelings, precluding them from logical thought. A 2003 article from the Chicago Tribune shows Rasmussen has been posting controversial things online for quite some time. This story highlighting his belief that he doesn't think gay men should be teachers for fear they'll have sex with students. I might be simple, but I have this thing where Gail King cannot talk about me negative. And if Gail King talks about you negative, yikes. I'm just thinking if you were a student in that class, you were a gay student, a yeah. woman, a person of color, I would think that would be very uncomfortable knowing if he allegedly believes the things that he's posted. Yeah. So over the summer, we had a white supremacist at the farmer's market. A lot of the response was that, okay, this is one family that feels this way, and it's really not an educated person. That was the case until recently. One of Kelly's School of Business's tenured faculty members is not only someone who's a bigot, but also somebody that is very homophobic and also very, very sexist. Now he also says he does have tenure, so firing him would be illegal. Okay, thank you Cornelius for getting this all together for us.